Okay, the last thing that I need to show you how to do in here is how to essentially download the results once you've gotten your survey and all the folks have completed it. So um, one of the things, instead of actually looking at all of the surveys here, I'm actually going to just look at surveys in a specific folder. And I can do that by, um, again, I'm just here you, essentially at the main page. Um, so back at the, the main login screen under my surveys up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little down arrow here next to this all surveys. And it brings up a list of all of the folders that I have here. So you can see here's the folders that I've created for each of you. And one of the things that I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into, actually I'll use this as an example. Um, so this is ones I did for the full college. So you can see there are three that we have here. Uh, one was the vote that we had on our bylaws uh, last year, the year before, actually last year I guess. Uh, here was the draft of the common exit survey. And then here's when we actually sent it out to all of the EDL candidates in 2014, or those that had graduated in 2014, or by 2014. And since this is the one that has the bigger data set, I'm going to show you how to download this one. So the quickest way of doing it is actually if you go over here and click results, although you could also go up here and just click view results right here, or view results right here. So you can see there's a couple of spots up here where you can click view results, but I always find it easier just to go down here over on the left hand side across from the survey and just click on the results button here. Now what this is going to do is it's going to give me a list of reports that have been done, but that's not all that useful to me to be able to view a report here in Qualtrics. What I want to really do is I want to download the data so you'll see the option up here in your menu to download the data and if I click on that it gives me all kinds of options here and the default options are fine for each of them what I always do is I will always check this first one here so I've basically just scrolled down so this is where I start and I'm just gonna scroll down to the CSV copy so this is the one that you can use in Excel or in Access or in Pages or you could also use this to bring it into SPSS as well um, it'll allow you to do it really in any type of spreadsheet styled program um, so that's probably the easiest one to do if you know you're going to be using an SPSS and that's it you can download it specifically as an SPSS file but again I always go with the um, CSV file which is you know you can see the little Excel icon here so if I click on this you'll notice up here up top I get a download in progress and it's gonna take a second here because you know there are almost 200 entries that it's gotta figure out and as you see it's moving across there now and with my Mac once the export is complete, it'll automatically start to download. Um, it may ask you whether or not you want to save or cancel. If another sort of box pops up somewhere here in the middle, um, so if you don't have your Mac to set automatically to download, it may ask you to save the file or save the file as something here. Uh, for the PC people, again, depending upon how you've got it set up, it may ask you to save or save as somewhere here in the middle and just click on save and that's fine uh, you'll note that what ends up happening is is it saves as a zip file so I'm gonna go down to my downloads folder here now and I'm just gonna open up my downloads folder so you can see here's all my downloaded files here so here's the downloaded data file FCE common exit survey 2014 zip um, regardless if you're on a PC or a Mac, all you have to do, the zip file essentially is a compressed file. So even though this is only a small data set, Qualtrics will automatically assume it's a larger data set, so it'll automatically zip it each time to decrease the size of it. So you'll notice right now it's zipped and it is only 46 kilobytes when it's zipped. So regardless if you're on a PC or Mac, if you double click on it, it will actually extract it. So you can see little, my little green archive utility comes up here and it's going to go through and um, it'll actually open it so there you go 
And now here is my CSV file. The zip file is still there, but that's my CSV file. So that's the one I can use to open in Excel or in uh, Numbers or any other spreadsheet program that I might like to use. Um, and essentially what it does is every single bit of data is brought down into an individual column. I won't bother to open it up here now because uh, where you haven't looked at the survey, the actual raw data would be rather meaningless to you at this point. Um, but essentially that's the file that I could use and if I double clicked on it, it would open up into Excel like any other. So that's how you can download the data so that you can use it after you've completed your survey.